like oh, like, oh. Like, Yes, we have Sailor Z coming to you live from Mr. Long Record Studios. What's up? What's up with So, I had a few questions for you. Um, first, let's start off by asking you a really common question. Um, I'm sure you hear all the time. Where did the name Say Lil Z come from? Uh, it originated, well, when I first started rapping, it, came, it was Z Money. <laughs> my boys used to call me Z Money all the time. And, uh, that was just my first little rap name. Then my producer, Lil Wayne, I know, like old producer. We, we dropped a little song called Say Lil Z. And ever since then, I've been like, I want the world to say Lil Z. So I've been running with it ever since. I mean, y'all know what time it is. At the end of the day, it's gonna be like, <laughs> Say Lil Z. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that is. Okay. And you brought up, you know, since you've been rapping, you know, that's what you've been known. Bye. Um, how long have you been rapping? Uh, I've been rapping about, uh, about nine years now. It's about to be, it's about to be nine. I uh, started when I was like, so like 14. I started getting on tracks when I was like 14. I've been rapping since I was like eight. So as far as getting on tracks and recording, you know what I'm saying, like since you're down and writing and all that, it's been about almost like nine years now. So I've been in it for a second. Almost 10. Okay. That's such a young age. So, what did music mean to you and what does it mean to you now? I mean, music always been just, I've always been surrounded by music. Um, I grew up in the church, so um, I was always around church music. You know what I'm saying? Real spiritual. A lot of people don't know that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, music meant a lot to me, man. Uh, I've been hearing it my whole life. I don't just like rap, I don't just like R&B, you know what I'm saying? I listen to some country, I listen to some rock, I listen to whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever got a good feel to it, if I like it, you know what I'm saying? If I ride away, this music is how they feel, it's coming from the soul. The music comes from the soul, it don't come from the head. So, you know, that's a lot of people sleep on that, so that's how I feel about that. Okay. And your hometown is Shreveport, Louisiana, correct? So, what makes you stand out from the other rappers, you know, out of your hometown? Um, I mean, I, I, I like, you know what I'm saying, a lot of the rappers in my city, you know what I'm saying, they, they, they do their thing, I just feel like I'm more unique, you know what I'm saying, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm a hustler, I get out there and get it, you know what I'm saying, you see posters around, you see flyers, you see me with the with the camera, you know what I'm saying? I network, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, uh, and I ain't gonna say everybody like this, but it's a lot of niggas, they don't, they don't like the collab, they don't like the fuck with you, just on the stream, cause they feel like they've been out here so long, so, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I'm, I'm they be down for it. I mean, it's a lot of shit, man. I don't even go into that book, you know? Okay, so what makes you stand out from other artists in the rap game, period? Uh, just, my sweat, my, 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 my persona, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna say sweat, my persona, you know what I'm saying? I, I do, I do it way different. Like, I can come with the club, I can come with the, you know what I'm saying, with the, with the stuff you just ride to, you know what I'm saying? I can come with inspirational, I can come with whatever, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was getting to in my last, you know what I'm saying? that question. It's about how you feel, it's, it's your soul into it. You gotta put, you gotta put your heart and your soul into it. If you're just doing it to your head or what you're making up, you're just writing stuff down, you know what I'm saying? It, it really don't mean that. you just rapping. You're not, you're not an artist. You're, you're just a rapper. That's why I feel like I'm an artist. I'm not a rapper because I can come with whatever. I can write a singing song, you know what I'm saying, R&B track, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I feel like I'm a lot different from a lot of people. Okay. And who are your influences in the industry? Uh, In the industry, <laughs> I got a lot of... Uh, Got a lot of people I uh I look up to. It started off with Luda though, Ludacris. You know what I'm saying? When Ludacris came out with the back for the first time C D, that was my that was me and Lil Wayne, man. We we used to ride to that like every day, all day. You know, three, four times a you know what I'm saying, listen to the whole C D three, four times a day. So Luda was my big influence. You know what I'm saying? I look up to Boots and Webby, you know what I'm saying? I like them boys and boys. You, you see the come up with them boys, because I've been hearing them, you know what I'm saying, way before they got anything. So, you know what I'm saying, it lets you know uh, 
it's possible. It's motivation. You know what I'm saying? So I look up to them boys too. You know, just as far as that. Okay. In what way do you, as Sailor Z, plan to make history in the rap game? Um, uh, I just want to show them that, you know what I'm saying, Shreveport can do it. Like, all these other cities, all these other states, you know what I'm saying, they they, they got a lot of people coming out, and I feel like they sleeping on us. So, I mean, I just want to let them know that, that Shreveport owned just like anybody else. We can take over the game just like anybody else. You know what I'm saying? It's a boot thing. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's my that's my mark. That's that's the mark I want to make in the rap game. I want them to let them know that Shreveport ain't no flop ass city. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's me right there. Okay. And what's your swag? <laughs> uh, I don't have no swag. Uh, it's more of a a persona. You know what I'm saying? It's more of a my own. I, I'm unique. I don't, I don't feel like a swag. I feel like swag is made up. I feel like a nigga just. Like a nigga say, you turn on this way, you can't turn off your persona, you can't turn off who you are, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm gonna do 24 8. Just be me, do what I gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And what's holding you back from being successful? What is it that you feel is holding you back from being successful, should I say? Um, I've been doing it for, I've been doing, like I said, I've been doing it music for a minute now. It's been like, like nine years, and I feel like these last two, three years, I just, I really just been on it, like been out in the streets, been grinding, been trying to network, you know what I'm saying? I finally got my camera game up, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing it Z and HD, so I feel like I just, I just ain't been grinding the way I should. I ain't been, I feel like I should, but right now, in this time, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it right, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to see me in the streets, y'all going to see me in the clubs. Y'all gonna see me everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna see me with different rappers, you know what I'm saying? You done heard of some, you ain't heard of, you know what I'm saying? But I'm networking, I'm getting out here, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna be like everybody else. Just sitting around thinking you big, you know what I'm saying? Cause you got love in, in one city, nigga. You go to the next city, nigga don't know you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's bigger than that, it's bigger than that, that, that local love, you know what I'm saying? Okay, which brings me to my last and final question. Um, you kind of touched on it before, but you're not only a rapper, you're an entrepreneur, correct? Yeah, man. Uh, I don't plan on uh, just rapping my whole life, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't plan on being 26 still around here trying to rap, you know what I'm saying? I'm 22 right now, you know what I'm saying? I don't plan, I don't plan on being 24 doing it, but you know what I'm saying? I'm going to uh, do it while I got it and while it's hot, and uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to use it for different things, uh, clothes, shoes. You know what I'm saying? Accessories, you know what I'm saying? And just everything. Like I said with the camera, you know what I'm saying? I do videos. That's that's another income. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get money from each and every end. That's that's my whole that's my whole mind frame on that. So um that's just really what it is, man. I mean, we out here trying to get it. Shout out to my boy Lyco. Um We out here getting it. Building Mr. Lawton Records Studios. And I just had a few questions. We really wanted to um, to showcase a particular person, as I stated, Mr. Lawton. Yeah. This is his studio. And I just have a few questions for you. Um, how long have you been knowing Mr. Lawton? Uh, I've been knowing him for a second. Uh, he's the, he, well, he's still messing with my big homie, you know what I'm saying, from, from Shreveport. Uh, Lil Wayne, Dick, Sam, you know, all of them. So... Uh, we really always been affiliated. It's probably been, I want to say, probably like almost, almost at least five, six years. You know what I'm saying? But I've been down here for like a year and a half. So me and him just been click clacking for about a year and a half, like hard. You know what I'm saying? Since I've been moved down here. So, you know what I'm saying? It's still love. You know what I'm saying? Even then, I feel like I've been on him when, before I came here. So, you know what I'm saying? So it's all good. Well, that's always a good feeling. Yeah. That's always... So, what stands out about Mr. Lawton to you? I mean, he just a he a businessman. I mean, every time, uh, every time I come in, come and holler at him, he about business. You know what I'm saying? He make me get in there, get out. You know what I'm saying? Make me drop it. He makes sure it's it's perfect. You know what I'm saying? He he keep pressing that stop that stop button anytime you mess up. So if you ever come to Mr. Lawton Records and you ain't got your shit together. He gon' <laughs> you gonna be in that minute, cause he won't let you record no boo boo for real. So you know what I'm saying. He bought his business and he makes sure you 
good and crisp and he makes sure his work is perfect. Anything he put out, you know what I'm saying, he gonna make sure it's right because his name on it. So I respect that and I salute that shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's what drives you to continue doing business with him, correct? Yeah, of course. Any, any person I see that's, that's dedicated to it, like me, and you know what I'm saying, they make sure their product is good no matter what they put out, even if, you know what I'm saying, even if it's something different, you know what I'm saying, he'll, he'll encourage you to keep doing it and to perfect it. Because that's what the streets need, that's what the industry need, different shit, you know what I'm saying. The niggas dropping that same shit, you know what I'm saying, you come in here and drop a club song, and that is what it is. But when you when you come in here and drop something different, and it, it's not quite, quite clear to you, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Lawton will be the person that'll, you know what I'm saying, will do this and do that and uh, chop this up and do it like this, and, and, and you got to hit. So, you know what I'm saying? I salute that shit, and I, I respect the nigga that give you encouragement for anything and everything you do. That's the type of nigga he is, so salute.